guys, in this video, one quick video where I can explain you what programming language to learn first. Because I, many of you are asking me this question under my videos and you just want to be to know what language you should start with and what would get you in into this programming field. So first thing to understand is what for you want to learn this programming language. And then you can answer this uh, yourself this question, what you should start with. For example, if you would want to be a web developer, my recommendation would be start with JavaScript or PHP, because those are easy to install or even JavaScript you don't need to install, you can just right now like check my JavaScript tutorial, you can create a folder, direct, create a file, a simple HTML file in it and just start writing your code and uh, go on, like work with it. The same as with PHP, you can install it under 5 minutes. Just install a ZAMP environment, which is your local server, and go on and work with it. You can install it, actually, I have tutorial in my tutorials where you can find how to install ZAMP and how to start working with PHP. And those would be my recommendations, because those are easiest languages we, which you can start with. So those are easiest languages which you don't need to real for which you don't need to prepare like development environments. But if you will start working with some other languages like C or Java, there you have to install or set up those environments which takes time. Sometimes it's it overwhelms you only when you are installing that environment and when you are done with that installations and this thing is not working, this thing is not working and that's only when you are new you to programming. You don't know these all small things or which you which you get when, when you get more experienced. You just pick them up but you can't pick them up when you are just newbie or just a starter in programming. So my recommendation is JavaScript, PHP, because those are the easiest languages. And why I'm recommending these two programming languages to start with? Because, firstly, they are easy to learn. Uh, not like easy to learn, they are the same, uh, actually learning curve is the same as with any other languages. But the thing is that they are easy to execute on your environment. It's easy to get up installed or set up this environment and just start working with them just like that. You don't have to waste your time on installing and preparing or setting up these huge environments which, which are required in some other programming languages. So, and they don't have bugs or anything. That's all solved because those are relatively old technologies. And now, as you know, JavaScript is very strong programming language because now with HTML5 you can create games with it, you can draw with it, and you can create so many different things with JavaScript. Okay, this is about which language you should start. But now I will, uh, now I will provide you with some options. What for? What for you might want to learn these languages? For example, like I mentioned before, if you start with, uh, with web development and you want to be a web developer, then start with HTML and CSS. Those are not programming languages, but that will give you a, go, a good go into this programming field. You, so you will understand how everything works around before you get to creating logic because with programming languages what you are doing you are creating logic but with HTML you are creating markup and with CSS you are creating style with, with other programming languages you create logic what that all is is doing whether it's sending data to database whether it's retrieving, retrieving data to visit from database and displaying on your application or on your website it doesn't matter really and what application and website is now, it's pretty much the same thing, only applications are not, actually they, they are installed on your device itself, where inter, on, on internet web applications they have some URL attached to them. That's pretty much the only difference from simple application and web application. Like, for example, if you think of Android applications which you install on your Android phones or Android tablets or any other devices. Or iOS, the same thing, only they are programmed in different 
languages. So, now let's talk about web development. Web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, uh, Java, all of them you can learn. But uh, my, my advice, as usually, is to go with JavaScript and PHP. And if you don't have any experience at all and you want to learn web development, go start with HTML and CSS because you will need them anyway. Whatever web development you will be doing, you will need HTML and CSS languages. Because all browsers pretty much understand, like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and all others which are out there, like Firefox, uh, Safari or any other web browsers, they understand only three languages, HTML, CSS and uh, JavaScript. Those are only three technologies these browsers understand. All the rest is from the backend, driven by some backend language like PHP, which are server-side languages, or Java, or Ruby, or any other C Sharp, for example, from Microsoft. So, yes, this is uh, from this. But if you are looking to create applications for desktop applications, for example, for computers, then you should look at the other technologies. And my advice would be to go with Microsoft C Sharp because it's now getting. I, however, I'm I, I, I'm not fond. I don't really like Microsoft's uh, uh, technologies, but the truth is truth, and I think that in future Microsoft's C Sharp .NET framework will will beat every everyone out from the market because it's getting very powerful, and now already in uh, .NET framework by knowing C Sharp. C Sharp is language like which goes C and hashtag. That's C Sharp language which uh, in which you can program with uh, .NET framework, and it's Microsoft's programming language. It's kind of Java only Microsoft's Java. If you know Java, then you will get C Sharp with no problem. And if you and all other vice versa, like if you know other languages. Uh, if you know C Sharp, you will know you can pretty much get up Java with no problem because those are very similar technologies. But the thing is about Microsoft C Sharp and uh, this framework is that it is very it is very powerful. Now you can write only one one piece of code and or create one application and you can run it as on. Uh, as on Android devices, so as on iOS devices, it doesn't really matter, and uh, because this framework allows you to do this, so and yes, so as you can create desktop devices as well on .NET framework. Then another options would be like Python, Ruby, Ruby on Rails. If you know, Ruby on Rails is not language; it's a framework, but to work with it, you sh you would want to learn Ruby, and now it's getting very popular as well. So as I will be creating Ruby and Ruby on Rails framework tutorials and so on. So yes, guys, this is pretty much about languages. And one more thing, most of you or some of you might be interested. What should you learn if you want to create like low, like good programs or professional programs like uh, Photoshop for example or you would want to create games from scratch however there is as well this big framework for game development but then you should look have to look for C++ because that with that language you create can create like Photoshop like I mentioned Illustrator like uh, many applications or even Android you could overwrite with C++ language and if you know there is Android devices and then if for Android you have to learn if you are interested in Android application development those are not internet devices but those are the uh, up internet applications but those are applications which you can install on Android driven devices and Android is getting very popular and it's actually very powerful uh, technology as well, then you should learn Android and to learn Android you should learn Java because Android basically is programmed with Java. But if you want to develop for 
iOS, for Macs, for for any iPhones applications and so on, then you should learn Swift. There is a Swift language. Now they have they have just released so the Swift language. Actually, it's not. It's one year already old at the time of uh, of of. At the time I'm recording this video, Swift is already one year old language, but it is like language for developing for iOS devices or 